as House Democrats worked with former President Trump three times to make sure we avoided a default and raised the debt ceiling. Without partisanship, without showmanship, without gamesmanship, President Biden has produced a budget. House Republicans produced a ransom note. That is what the Default on America Act is, and that is wildly irresponsible. Wildly irresponsible. That that would be it. Uh, the fact is that the wealth gap will continue to grow, particularly among marginalized groups and the rest of the world. It's just, it's completely and totally, it's unmanageable. It's also not going to help advance our society in any way, yet. You know, their jobs, they are in these positions in Congress, they are lawmakers, they are legislature, because we put them in that position. And so I really, really do have to call upon people. You need to check about who you are voting into these positions of power because they are making these decisions because you're elevating them. So what lies are you telling yourself? Because we know good and well that they are not here to rep your interests. So really, what are you doing? Those are just my thoughts, Mondale. I think you're spot on again. I, I, it is unbelievable to me that we know that you know the Bush and Trump tax cuts added ten trillion dollars to where to our our debt ceiling, and I think that the national debt is not a problem that you can fix by making more people hungry, by making more people homeless, by taking health care from more people. That is not how we're going to fix this. We're going to fix this by not by not looking out for the wealthiest American. And the Republicans seem dead set on doing just that, looking out for the wealthiest American, while the poorest Americans continue to support them. It is absolutely disgusting. But this also ties back into the gerrymandering story. As long as they can continue to get elected in these old bright red districts, they can continue to pass laws that benefit only the top 1% of Americans at the expense of everybody else. You know, having been to a number of countries and also worked with other countries' governments, the thing I would almost say that they often, those that are successful, have over the United States is a, a sense of working together. Because as much as people in other countries definitely have their issues, do not get me wrong, no, no nation is perfect. But still, there is this thought of we rise together, we fall together, that is at least built into the fundamental aspects of our society. But given that our society was built on dehumanizing the black body, also completely and totally genociding the indigenous body, it's still this thought of an us them. And so when I see members of the GOP make these decisions, when I see people vote for members of the GOP and those who seek to truly dismantle our society, it makes it clear that they don't realize we actually rise and fall together. So if you completely create a subset of our society who can't take care of themselves, who don't have housing, then you're not even gonna be able to have that working class body. You need individuals to be in the workplace. You need individuals in their space, not only for the human capital and the intellectual contributions that they'll make, but also because otherwise society is gonna end up falling apart to a certain extent. And I think that that's what we often miss in the United States is this cohesive, thought of, well, if we are working, we are working together. And so I don't know maybe if I'm just kind of naive in my thinking, but that's something I have seen in other countries that seems to work so well. But because of the divisiveness that we have, because we've created these hierarchies of race and we've reinforced those of gender in, and now we are definitely doing it by gender identity and sexuality. It really seems like we are going to capitalize on this class divide such that we end up imploding as a nation. Mondale, am I missing something? Nothing at all. I mean, but that is that is the course of capitalism anyway. When you put money and profits over people, um, that is the that is the game. The game is to basically implode. You can't exploit people and continue to exploit people and add more people to the list of people that you're exploiting and not see the inroad as implosion. So you're spot on. Yeah, and I really wish that more individuals who are voting class citizens here in the US really got that in their system because the way things are going, they're not gonna go for very well, they're not gonna go well for very long. And that seems to be something we know because we've seen how other nations do it and the ones that failed versus the one that succeed.